some exciting news now because scientists say they've found a planet orbiting the closest star outside our solar system. And they say Proxima b, which is about four light years away, is a rocky globe that could have enough surface water to support life. Some exciting news now because scientists say they found a planet orbiting the closest star outside our solar system. And they say Proxima b, which is about four light years away, is a rocky globe that could have enough surface water to support life. This is the nearest planet that potentially can have life and can, in a sense, be similar to our own planet. We have found the terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the nearest exoplanet we will ever find because it's the nearest star to the sun, and we are very excited about it. Scientists looking for life on other planets like to talk about the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. And now NASA's found a planet that's right in that zone. And that's what makes scientists believe that the potential is there. The potential is there, and it's very exciting because in the catalogs of planets that we now have, this is the first time we've had an Earth-like planet in the habitable zone of a Sun-like star. The discovery of another possible Earth-like planet is grabbing worldwide attention today. It's true scientists have previously said they believe there are other planets outside our solar system that resemble Earth in size and may have liquid water. But this latest finding is the closest planet yet found. Yes, it's four light years from Earth, just a mere 25 trillion miles away, but travel there may be possible by the end of the century. The planet is called Proxima b, circling a small star called Proxima Centauri. As shown in this animation, it's thought to be about 1.3 times the mass of Earth, probably rocky like the Earth, and possibly warm enough for liquid water. It is tidally locked, which means there is a light side always and a dark side always. So I suppose the real estate on the light side might be better. I don't know, if you're a night owl, maybe you want to go to the other side. It's very close to its star, but the star itself is a brown dwarf. It's a pretty wimpy star and so it can be closer and still be in what scientists call the Goldilocks zone, the just-right zone where the temperatures are just right for water to exist in liquid form. And here's the thing to remember, wherever we look on this planet, no matter where we go, deep down in the ocean or in acid springs and Yellowstone, if there's liquid water, we find life. Scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet that's not too far away. It's the closest planet to our solar system and the most important discovery in more than 20 years, as it could be able to sustain life. Astronomers have just made an unexpected discovery on the dark side of Proxima Centauri b, a side that has never seen the light of its star. For years, we believed this side was nothing more than a cold, lifeless shadow, but recent observations are revealing something different. Something faint yet unmistakably out of place is coming from the darkness. Emissions from Proxima Centauri b's dark side. As scientists peer into the darkness of Proxima Centauri b, something unexpected is becoming clear. Emissions are coming from the dark side, faint but distinct signals that could be unlike anything we've seen before. These emissions could take many forms, artificial light, heat radiation, or other types of electromagnetic radiation such as infrared. These signals are different from natural starlight, they have a unique signature, something that marks them as man-made or a product of a sophisticated system. Unlike the constant glow of a distant star, these emissions can be detected using powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. JWST is designed to spot infrared radiation, exactly the kind of faint energy that might be escaping Proxima Centauri b's dark side. What if those emissions are just from lights but hint at something even more intriguing on Proxima Centauri b? Could these signals tell us a story we've yet to uncover, one that points to a hidden civilization or a mystery much deeper than we could have imagined? The implications for inhabitants are enormous. How could the emissions from Proxima Centauri b's dark side help us learn about the planet's inhabitants, if any? The faint emissions could indicate a technologically advanced civilization if artificial. Specific patterns of light and heat could reveal the type of technology in use, the scale of energy production, and even hint at the social structures of the planet. Imagine the way Earth's city lights tell the story of our political boundaries and social conditions. Similarly, emissions from Proxima Centauri b could reveal an entire civilization's values and priorities through their energy use.
Could the dark side of Proxima Centauri be reveal more than just city lights? What if it shows us an alien society in action? How they govern, their technological advancements, or even their struggles? These faint signals may offer us our first glimpse into an entirely different way of life light years away. Tidal locking profoundly impacts emissions on Proxima Centauri b. Since the planet is tidally locked, one side always faces its star while the other remains in complete darkness. This means that the dark side of the planet, unlike Earth's night cycle, never sees sunlight. It remains in constant shadow and, as a result, becomes extremely cold and inhospitable without a source of heat or light. Given the perpetual darkness and extreme cold, artificial lights would likely be essential for any life that exists there. These lights would not only provide warmth but also illumination, making the dark side habitable. Without these artificial energy sources, the dark side would be too cold and dark to support life as we know it. The unchanging nature of tidal locking creates a consistent pattern on the dark side. This could mean that the emissions detected would be steady and predictable. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the proposed LIAR are designed to detect incredibly faint emission signals that could reveal extraterrestrial life. These advanced instruments are equipped with technologies that allow them to capture narrow bands of light, particularly in the infrared spectrum, which is critical for identifying artificial emissions. Unlike natural starlight that floods our observations of distant stars, these faint signals could be distinctly different, making it possible for astronomers to pick up on something far more exciting, artificial light. What sets JWST apart is its ability to focus on very specific wavelengths of light emitted by artificial sources. The infrared sensitivity of these telescopes means they can detect the heat radiating from a planet, even from light years away. This is crucial because the artificial lights that might illuminate Proxima Centauri b's dark side could emit heat that's detectable through this infrared lens. By analyzing these wavelengths, Astronomers can tell the difference between natural starlight and the unique signature of artificial light. The potential to detect these faint emissions could mark a groundbreaking shift in our search for life beyond Earth. We are on the verge of discovering not only new planets but also potentially signs of intelligent civilizations. The technology behind JWST and LIAR could help us spot a civilization on a distant world just by detecting a pattern of light unlike anything we've ever seen before. But there's more to it. What kind of technology would be required to create these artificial lights on Proxima Centauri b? The implications of this discovery go far beyond just detecting emissions. They could reveal the technology that allows life to thrive in an otherwise inhospitable environment, making the dark side of Proxima Centauri b habitable. Extraterrestrial civilizations would need to rely on advanced technologies to generate light and heat. One possibility is the use of photovoltaic panels, solar cells that convert sunlight into electricity. Though the dark side of the planet doesn't receive direct sunlight, these panels could be placed on the permanently sunlit side, harnessing solar energy and storing it for use on the dark side. Other advanced energy sources might include nuclear fusion reactors, which could generate vast amounts of power without relying on solar energy, or even something like artificial photosynthesis a technology that mimics the process plants use to convert light into energy. These artificial lights would serve two key functions, to provide light and to warm the dark side, making it livable. Just like our Earth relies on electricity for everything from streetlights to homes, Proxima Centauri b's inhabitants could rely on sophisticated lighting systems to not only illuminate their world but also maintain a habitable temperature in the constant shadow. Could these artificial lights be an indicator of something much larger, perhaps an advanced technological society? The lights themselves may not just be a survival mechanism. They could point to a civilization with remarkable energy management, engineering capabilities, and the ability to control their environment on a scale we haven't yet imagined. The very existence of these lights could suggest that Proxima Centauri b's inhabitants have mastered technologies that, to us, might seem like science fiction. While emissions from the dark side of Proxima Centauri b have been detected, the challenges in fully understanding or analyzing them are significant. First, the vast distance between Proxima Centauri b and Earth makes it extremely difficult to isolate the faint signals coming from such a distant world. 
Even with the emissions we've detected, their faintness could make it hard to distinguish them from background noise. Proxima Centauri's solar flares and cosmic radiation further complicate the task, potentially interfering with the clarity of the signals we're trying to study. However, advancements in telescope technology are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and future telescopes like LIAR are designed to focus on specific wavelengths of light, including the infrared emissions that could originate from Proxima Centauri b. These instruments are incredibly sensitive, and with their help, astronomers can isolate these emissions with greater accuracy. Despite the distance and interference from cosmic phenomena, could Proxima Centauri b's natural emissions confuse scientists into thinking the planet is just another barren rock? Despite the breakthrough in detecting emissions, it's still possible that what we've identified is just the beginning. With the right advancements in technology, the real story may yet remain hidden beneath a layer of cosmic noise. While emissions from Proxima Centauri b's dark side have been detected, it's possible that some of these signals could be natural phenomena, not artificial lights. Earth itself provides examples of such emissions, like the shimmering auroras caused by interactions between solar wind and our magnetic field. Proxima Centauri b's volcanic activity or atmospheric phenomena like auroras could produce similar glowing emissions. In fact, the planet's unique position and environment, constantly facing its star on one side, could lead to dramatic volcanic or geothermal activity, releasing heat and energy into the atmosphere. This complexity could make the task of distinguishing between artificial light and natural emissions particularly difficult. Just like auroras here on Earth can sometimes appear bright and otherworldly, volcanic lighting or intense storm activity on Proxima Centauri b might give off emissions that could be mistaken for a city's glow. The faintness and irregularity of these emissions might cloud our understanding of what's really happening on the dark side. Could Proxima Centauri b be hiding something under its surface? What if these emissions aren't from a city but from a planet teeming with volcanic activity? The mystery beneath the planet's surface might be far more complex than we ever imagined, suggesting that the dark side of Proxima Centauri b could hold more than just a few lights. It could harbor a dynamic, ever-changing environment. Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere could significantly influence the emissions detected from its dark side. If the planet has an atmosphere, it could act as a filter, altering or absorbing certain wavelengths of light before they reach our telescopes. This means that even if artificial lights are shining brightly on the dark side, some of that light might be absorbed or scattered by the atmosphere, making detection much more difficult. The composition of Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere whether it's rich in gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen, or even exotic compounds, could change how the light behaves as it travels through it. For instance, certain gases can absorb specific wavelengths of light, which would alter the light's spectral signature by the time it reaches our instruments. What this means is that even though we might be detecting something from the dark side, we might not fully understand its true nature without considering how the atmosphere has affected the emissions. What if Proxima Centauri b's atmosphere holds the key to understanding how emissions from its dark side could reveal the planet's history? The way the atmosphere filters these emissions could provide insights into the planet's past, how it developed, what kind of environmental changes it's undergone, and whether it's capable of supporting life. By leveraging the power of next-generation telescopes like JWST and LIAR, we are on the brink of unlocking profound discoveries. These instruments could reveal faint emissions from Proxima Centauri b's dark side, potentially unveiling signs of life or technology in a distant world. With these breakthroughs, we'll not only answer questions about the planet's habitability but also open the door to exploring what could be an entirely new chapter in our search for extraterrestrial life. The future of space exploration is exciting, and with each advancement, we get closer to discovering whether we are truly alone in the universe. These discoveries will change everything we know about the cosmos, and we are standing on the edge of something monumental. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Insane of Curiosity, for more updates as we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe.